Hello friends, in this session, we'll discuss the geography of Andaman and Nicobar. You can see here, Andaman is one of the islands in the Indian Ocean, very close to Bay of Bengal and Andaman Sea. And this Andaman, this Andaman and Nicobar is one union territory. So we'll talk about Andaman and Nicobar. You just see here. This is Andaman. We have to write a few points. What is Andaman? And the meaning of the Andaman and Nicobar. You have to remember Andaman and Nicobar. It's in Malay language. Malay language, you have to remember. This point is very important. The origin of these two words, Andaman and Nicobar, is from Malay language. This is the point. And it's union territory. Among seven UKs, seven union territories, this Andaman and Nicobar is one of the union territory. And it's a beautiful land, right? And if you talk about the capital, capital of Andaman is Port Blair. Port Blair. Right? And this is the land of several tribes. You can see here this is Andaman. Andaman Sea is very close to Andaman and Nicobar Island. And you will see here Bay of Bengal. So you can say Bay of Bengal and Andaman Sea just enclosing Andaman. So Andaman Sea is here, Bay of Bengal is here and you can see the Andaman and Nicobar island groups. Nearly 200 islands, 200 plus islands. It's archipelago. Archipelago means a group of islands are here. So nearly 200 plus islands you will find here. Right? So I explain the origin of the word Andaman Nicobar is from Malay language. Capital is your port player. And nearly 200 plus islands you will find here. Right? Now we will discuss the tribes that are found in Andaman Nicobar. <coughs> we will discuss the tribes. Please note the tribes. It's very important. We will talk about the tribes. There are several tribes. First word is, you can say Andamidis. Andamidis and Nicobaris. These are the tribes. Songpens, Jarawas, J A R A W A S. Jarawas, right? There are so many tribes in Andaman, so please remember few of them. Andamidis. Andamidis is one of the tribe. Nicobar is also tribe, Sompens, Jarawas, and also Om, O N G E. This is also one tribe. There are a number of tribes, but these tribes are very important while studying uh, the geography of, you can say, Andaman and Nicobar. So it's very important. So I have covered tribes. Now we'll discuss the important national parks that's found in Andaman and Nicobar. You see, very simple to remember. Now we will discuss national parks. National parks, right? First is Mahatma Gandhi Merai National Park. This is Mahatma Gandhi Merai National Park. Then you can say uh, Rani Lakshmi Bai. Rani Lakshmi Bai National Park. Or National Park, I am writing NP, right? And you can say also. Uh, North Bottom, North Bottom National Park, Mount Fuller National Park. So you have to remember the national parks of Andaman and Nicobar. These are the few national parks you can follow, right? Now we'll discuss the state animal. The state animal we'll discuss. State animal you can say uh, that's your. Dugog. 
state animal or you can say Andaman Nicobar, state animal, we call this state animal, though it's UT. You cannot say UT animal, so state animal is D O G O G. D U Dugog. Dugog is the state animal of, uh, you can say, uh, Andaman and Nicobar. And it's just like a sea cow. They are called sea cow. Sea cow, some people say also gentle, gentle sea cow. So gentle sea cow, Dugog, is the state animal of Andaman and Nicobar. Let's talk about other things of Andamanese and Nicobaris. I have told that it's a land of tribes and the name Andaman Nicobar originated from Malay language. This is the point you have to remember. Few national parks you have to go through. Also the state animal Dugak, capital Port Blair, and few tribes like your Sompens, Jarawas, Onges, all those tribes I have mentioned. Now we'll discuss the important feature or you can say 10 degree channel. Now we'll discuss the 10 degree channel. What is the 10 degree channel? Because the 10 degree channel is, uh, this one is 10 degree channel. Please remember 10 degree channel. What is this? 10 degree channel separates Andaman, Andaman from Nicobar Island. So you have to remember, this is very very important, 10 degree channel. 10 degree channel separates Andaman for Nicobar Island groups. This is the point you have to remember. You can see here, if you look at Andaman, you will find Andaman Nicobar, you will see here. It's not visible, but remember this is 10 degree channel somewhere else. Right, so 10 degree channel separates Andaman from Nicobar. This point must be clear. Right, 8 degree and 9 degree channel that are found in Lakhadip Island. So 10 degree channel is associated with Andaman and Nicobar. This point must be clear. So 10 degree channel, you can remember, it separates Andaman from Nicobar Island. Right, now we'll discuss, uh, you can say, few things. That is coral reef. Please remember, coral reefs are found here. Coral reefs. What is coral reef? You see, suppose this is water body, right? This is water, no doubt, this is land. So, what I mean to say, corals are dead bodies. In, uh, you can say, marine life, marine animal or marine life. So, marine animals, they die. Suppose they die, and they will go to the bottom of the ocean and they will concentrate like this right so these are known as corals dead bodies corals and after million million years after million years it will convert into rock and that will be known as coral reef and we know coral reefs are found in Lakhadeep, Andaman and even also in the Australian Great Barrier Reef which is the largest coral reef in the world however in case of Andaman Nicobar also, coral reefs are found. In India, at four places, coral reefs are found. Please remember, I will tell those things. Four places, I will tell. Remember, coral reefs of India. We are talking, talking about India. One is Andaman and Nicobar. Right? Second is, you can say, Gujarat coast. Gujarat coast. Actually, we call this Gulf of Humber. Gulf of Humber and Koch. Gulf of Humber and Koch. So, at this place also, coral reefs are found. Third is, you can say, uh, near, you can say, Gulf of Manar. Gulf of Manar, but very little. So little amount of coral reefs are found here. Fourth is, you can say, uh, near Sundarban. Sundarban. Near Sundarban. But highest concentration of coral reefs are found in this region, Andaman and Nicobar. 
this point must be clear so i hope you got this point and the largest coral reef you will find in australia that is known as great barrier reef i will show it right now you just see suppose okay this is india right we find coral reefs here right this point gujarat portion here you will find coral reefs no doubt and also you will find here in this portion west bengal sundarban and you will find also some sort of uh, coral reefs here in gulf of manali right but the maximum coral reefs are found here in andaman and nicobar so please remember highest number of andam uh, you can say coral reefs are found in andaman and nicobar and if you talk about globally then go to australia you just see here australia is here in the eastern side of australia you just see this is known as great barrier reef this is the largest coral reef in the world so look at this map very clearly you can understand this is uh, australia and if you go to the north eastern part of australia this is known as great barrier reef so this point is great barrier reef so this is the highest coral reefs coral reef you will find in the world so this point must be clear i hope you got this point right so these are the things uh, you have to remember now we will discuss the highest peak of andaman and nicobar let's go to andaman and nicobar let's visit andaman and nicobar again you just see okay this is andaman and nicobar i hope you are getting this andaman and nicobar please remember the highest peak of andaman and nicobar and total andaman and nicobar let's clear it highest peak or highest point you can say highest point highest point of entire andaman and nicobar is so saddle peak saddle peak right so saddle peak is the highest peak of highest peak of or point of andaman and nicobar right andaman and nicobar and also you have to remember highest point highest point or peak of andaman individually you have to remember also saddle peak please remember saddle peak and highest point of nicobar mount fuller so you have to remember this point very important so highest point of andaman nicobar is your saddle peak and andaman if you talk about only andaman it's also saddle peak because this saddle peak is located in andaman and highest point or peak of nicobar island mount fuller this is the point very very important for exam point of view let's try to understand this point you see <clears throat> this is andaman nicobar and if you say the highest peak it's located in andaman right and if you want to know the highest peak of nicobar island then this is located here though it's not visible just remember for exam point of view highest point of andaman nicobar entire andaman nicobar is so said a peak and if you talk individually highest peak of uh, andaman saddle peak we call this also highest point no issue and highest point of nicobar mount fuller this is the point you have to remember for exam point of view i hope you got this point and enjoyed this lesson thank you very much see you again thank you very much